What's up guys, Mike Slory here with another video. Today we're gonna to be checking out my 1985 Volkswagen Cabriolet Wolfsburg Edition. So here she is. She's a 1985 Wolfsburg. It's a five speed car. It's in decent condition. doesn't have a lot of rust and today one of the things I'm going to be checking out on it is the shift linkage I also have new door handles that I got to put on it but if you want to check it out this is something we need to address it's a common issue with these the shifter is kind of a soup ladle So it just needs uh, bushings. Let's pop the hood on her and check it out. So here's the car. It's pretty clean. Uh, when I got it, it didn't run. We did the spark plugs, wires, distributor cap. It's a cool little car, a little four cylinder. This uh, actually doesn't have fuel injection up here doesn't have like injectors like that the fuel injection module is actually right here and it uh, injects the fuel into the intake tube and down to the intake manifold but uh, I'll show you guys the problem we're gonna be addressing today if you see right there that's the uh, the shift linkage one of the rods for the shift linkage and uh, if you can see the bushing is actually missing show you guys how much uh how much play this thing really has yeah so it's kind of a soup ladle but other than that this car runs great well, it's got new rear brakes on it the top could use some love but uh this is one of those cars that uh was bought to get flipped so we're gonna fix up the shift linkage so uh, it drives properly. And then this car is gonna be for sale in New Jersey by uh, the Jersey Shore off of exit 80 Garden State Parkway South. So if anybody's interested in it, let me know. I got a bunch of new parts. We did a new fuel filter on it. The tires are decent. The new rear back brakes, like I said, the spark plugs, the strip recap and everything. I have new door handles. And the interior is in pretty good shape. The door handles don't work, but I have new ones sitting right in the back. But the interior is in pretty decent shape. And these things are getting hard to find. But like I said, it could use a new top. But uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I could kind of, for right now, just rig something up to fix that linkage and uh, see if we could get the shifter to work a little better. So I'll get back with you. So what I did was I got this piece right here. I drilled a hole through it, the same size as the rod. I'm gonna put that through the linkage bar, put the rod through the other side, put a washer and the cotter pin, and that should tighten that up real good because it's beveled on this side a little bit. It doesn't allow it to move a lot and it's gonna be nice and tight. All right, so what I ended up doing was using uh, two pieces, that plastic piece I showed you, which is in the front, and I used that rubber washer in the back, and now it's nice and tight, so I'm gonna try and get a washer and the cotter pin on there. It's gonna be a little tight, but I'm sure I could do it. And then we'll mess with the, we'll jack it up and get the other shift linkage that's uh, down there. Is a little wobbling. Let's see if we can fix that one too. And it should work a lot better. So we got that one all on. 
definitely. Now it's a lot tighter. And all we gotta worry about is a piece down there. Clacking back and forth. Let's see how the shifter feels now though. It's a little better. Fix one underneath and we'll be good to go. Yeah. 